I did hope to people. I said that we are having the full moon in uh, Virgo. It's in Capricorn. <laughs> Close. <laughs> and that is why you should have a second reading. So we will pull another card. <laughs> That's probably a reason why. <laughs> okay, and I will do this before I go to bed because I do have an early shoot tomorrow. But I have my phone so I can just look up what the full moon is about. But now that we spoke about the Virgo energy, I feel it's still something that is here. There's still a reason why I was guided to talk about it. Okay? And it fits well together with um, the card that came but also the messages that we have gotten before. No! <laughs> Something very significant might happen. We also have the solstice, right? The, sol the solstice. Yeah! Something very interesting is happening. There's the closing of circles. <laughs> yeah. When did we have the new moon in Capricorn? There's clarity. It shines with wisdom. So we look back six months. How we interacted. How it influenced us. Six months. Oh, that was in January. Ah. No, you guys, the closing chapter is from January. The 11th this year. Our early egos will be encouraged to pay closer attention to our feelings. That was That is what happened back then. So ego might really have been like, BAM! And ego might be, BAM! <laughs> At this moment as well. Something that shook up order, your freedom, you might find yourself in that again. Full moons are about closing chapters, right? What did I do? In January? I can't even remember. January. What did you do in January? Specifically around, or you know, three days before, three days after. Um, the 11th. I started renovations, I feel. Well, <clears throat> I actually... Well, I haven't spoken with you guys about it, about that. And also, I start the weight loss journey. <laughs> um, like, for real. Yeah. I have grown so much since back then. It's crazy. So, specific, specific, specifically something, also because that is probably going to change at some point. I don't know when. But we had a meeting with um, the Alzheimer um dementia thing dingy and we asked for all the help that we can do and we're going to get that now that means that there's going to be people that are going to be here <laughs> what do you call that to make sure that my dad gets all the medicine that he needs and all the help so that we actually don't have to be here which is such a strange feeling to be like i can actually <laughs> i can actually travel now i don't have to think about anything and that is a closing of a chapter, right? Because January, that's actually where everything happened and started. So it's a bit crazy. It's a, I feel like a lot of things are happening. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. But the most important thing that's happening is that we know that he's going to be safe when we are not here, right? And also that the, the well, the pressure is not being put on, well, specifically me. Because I have limited myself a lot when it comes to really going out traveling. So that is changing. Which is a bit crazy. Because when we spoke about her, I was like, I didn't know that there was so much we could get help for. I was like, wow. <laughs> so yeah, that's, 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 that's good. <laughs> that's an interesting, um, yeah, what it means, I don't know. But I do want to put my manifestation focus into traveling. And also just, you know, seeing a little bit more of Denmark again. Yeah. <laughs> and me and Kiri can go on shenanigans. <laughs> they had caves and stuff like that. <laughs> Remember when we did, when we stayed at the ca the caves in Denmark somewhere? Underneath, where with bats, when we did the readings? Oh my god! That was so cozy. I've got a link one of the videos up here and that was so cozy. We have been speaking about going back. <laughs> Kiri is a little scared. <laughs> We didn't stay because Kim was like, I can't do this. And I was noises and no one could really get into the cave the caves. But there was noises down there. But it's also haunted. <laughs> the Kiri wasn't fun with it. The Kiri wasn't fun with it. <laughs> like it's fine. 
Ah, so. <laughs> I want to do that again. <laughs> that was so cozy. So what closer, what, what, what closer, <laughs> what chapter are you closing from January and starting anew, right? That is, that is what's happening. What a battery is blinking, what's new? So something is happening and you might be quite shocked, quite shocked I tell you. Yeah, you're manifesting whatever you want after this circle. Something has shifted, something has shifted today, I don't know what it is. It's a lot of karma, yeah. It is in close impact and contact with the moon, so it might be quite emotional. Okay, we're back with a new battery. But, people, this is it. Capricorn can be quite a cold sign. <laughs> maybe someone is cold, maybe you need to be cold. <laughs> maybe the weather is cold. <laughs> it, yeah, it is autumn in Denmark, I tell you. I tell you. Should we take tarot? No, we should actually first take a new one of this. How exciting. I you I just changed the battery. Who the hell do you think you are? Luckily I have a battery more. <laughs> but oh it's because that I didn't put it on. Wow, I can do that. Luckily I have three batteries, right? I have also been thinking about start using this again because I know you guys like that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> But I have, I can only use it with my big um, camera, and that's a whole thing, a whole setup I have to put up. But let's do it. <laughs> let's dive into that. Well, let's see. Whoa! Six of Wands and Knight of Cups. This is not what I was supposed to do, actually. Well, you will have success. I was supposed to take a new card here. But yeah, this, this. Full moon is going to be very, very beautiful. So whatever chapter, whatever hardship, or maybe you were confused about something in January, or maybe you're just like, okay, now I can see the results of something, so I'm, so I'm, I'm ready to take the next step in a way. Does that make sense? Something. But there is a closing of something. And then the beginning of the new. What happened in January? One card. Thank you. Forgiveness! Well, that's how we had patience. Now we have forgiveness. Mm. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. So maybe something did disappoint you in January. For you to start fresh, also because there is this line, right? You need to... What are you even focusing on? Hello. Yeah. If it's recently, there is this forgiveness, or if it's from January. Forgive whatever. <laughs> hmm. Maybe there is someone who wants to have your forgiveness. Are you... Want someone to forgive you? Does that make sense? <laughs> I feel like I just said the same, the same effing thing. I mean, forgiveness, yeah. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is a funny thing. I feel like forgiveness is easy. I mean, again, why would you not forgive something? Because either you forgive for yourself, you know what I mean? And you move on. Or there is something more to it. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You know, obviously sometimes it's hard, but sometimes I feel like we also need to forgive just for the sake of ourselves, right? So we don't carry that that disappointment or whatever it is. I mean, it doesn't do us any good anyway, especially with the, the Capricorn energy. Why do I do that? I just feel like the whole room got brighter. Be willing to forgive yourself, so maybe you need to forgive yourself. Um, and others and open the doors to future growth. <laughs> if that is not an energy, <laughs> let me just see. Ah, it landed on Capricorn. I use. I use. <laughs> well, obviously it's connected with the devil, so maybe it's something about karmic energy, maybe it's something about addictions, have bad habits. Um, 
it can be something with ambition ambition but it's all about moving up in the world fame it could be something with bones which is interesting because last time i had the la injury with my ankle was actually in january and i haven't i haven't felt it ever since but also our ankles <laughs> are connected with standing still in life and january was one of the months where i was like okay now i'm gonna change my circumstances right and that is also why i really went deep when it came to weight loss and also like the the months after like in march i think march was the month where i got tinder so putting myself out there right <laughs> falling in love whatever you want to call that gaining new amazing people in my life right it's it's everything just started back then and it has been a wonderful roller coaster <laughs> ever since and i have again instead of <laughs> having moments on the roller coaster where i'm like ah! <laughs> crying and i don't i want to get out like we talked about right you're in that roller coaster you have to sit this right <laughs> You have to sit this right. You have to, to be on the right. You can't get up, right? But I have managed to just have fun on the roller coaster. Be like, yes, there's ups and downs, like we talked about with the wheel of, wheel of fortune. It's wonderful. <laughs> I have learned so much the past months. Yeah, it's been amazing. I really, I don't know. It's my heart is a, my heart is a content. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> you, yeah. And it's not like I'm in a position where I'm like, um. Like I have everything I want, it's just like I'm grateful for what I have, you know what I mean? And I feel that is a Capricorn energy, that is a, a goal-oriented energy, it's the ambition, you know, it's like... It's how, it's how we manifest, right? We feel happy with what we have, how things are, and we're just grateful. Like gratitude has been something that has coming up, been coming up. Yeah. The world map so again traveling seeing the world being out there again it is yeah it is it is time for me to to experience and also again this energy of not having to worry about my dad is the biggest <laughs> relief really and uh, yesterday one of his brothers came to visit and you guys should have seen my dad he was smiling <laughs> it was so adorable to just you know yeah, it was just lovely, you know, yeah, yeah, karma, I mean, there might be some kind of karma that's been cleared, where like, okay, I realize that I have carried this karma, this, this energy, and again, we are in the year of karma with number eight, and next year is going to be number nine, we know what that means, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, committed in marriage, so maybe some of you guys are going to get married? I just committed yeah committed to something but that's that's beautiful yeah well it's just going to be a long one so forgiveness is there anything else the act of forgiveness helps replace anger depression anxiety and all pain with hope and compassion yes like i always say like when we have aches and pains like i i don't know why but my tailbone <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because that I just maybe uh, overdone it. Is that how you say that when it comes to workout? I need to relax a little bit instead of powwowing, you know, <laughs> because even through that I have pain, I'm just like, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> it's like, relax. Relax. But again, last, well, that sounds around January. I had all these headaches, right? Damn, I had a lot of headaches. And with all the things that we're cleansing out in our life, our body is also being cleansed, right? If there's something with the ears, if there's something with the teeth, whatever it is, there's a spiritual connection with it. So it could be connected with January. <laughs> Again, anxiety. Whatever. But yeah, you're going to start getting self-esteem up because of this like forgiveness and we do sometimes need to forgive ourselves it's not always about other people it's more okay i forgive myself for i don't know not believing in myself or staying in something that was toxic or not seeing my words or 
not going after my dreams and desires, not believing in myself. I mean, it can be whatever, right? There's a positive outcome here. Remember, forgiveness is a choice you make for your own benefit. And that is true, people. Wow! Look at that. Fast energy, fast communication, success, everything, travel. <laughs> I just have to say, some of you guys are going to have a lot of sex. <laughs> this combination. Well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is what you're manifesting with the full moon. <laughs> Yeah, it actually looks like the same person here, so that could be something with self-forgiveness. Um, <laughs> Whatever it is that you're manifesting, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's beautiful. Trouble, movement, success, achievements, fame, just what we spoke about. It might be quite shocking, in a way. But it's a big change because it's positive card, so it's not like a negative thing. But <laughs> maybe around the full moon you might receive a message where you're like, What? <laughs> what do you mean? See, I feel some of you guys are realizing that you have had a lot of scarcity, you have had a lot of paranoia about something. Yeah, you're forgiving yourself. Yeah, you have, might feel like, damn, I have taken a long time. <laughs> yeah, I say that while this combination comes in, that is beautiful. <laughs> I have taken a long time. But you have also allowed yourself to heal in something. There might have been something with, with long time sickness or depression or I don't know, whatever, you know, stress, worry. That is coming to a close. So that you can start this new journey. And we actually got the world in the weekend reading. I don't want to make this too long. But yeah. The wheel. Right? The sun. Wow. You guys are really going for it. No more waiting. No. I don't think that the... I don't think you're confused anymore. Pay attention to 11.11. Whatever comes your way is going to be very stable. Very secure. No matter what it is, if it's love, if it's about your career, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Ending the old circle. Congratulations, people. <laughs> look at this. It keeps keeps on com coming. There might be something with, obviously, with the 8-8. Um, the 8-8 eight eight. Eight eight eight, um, Lionsgate in August. But I feel this is going to come in very fast. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Congratulations, people. Whatever is coming your way. Whatever is coming our way. I am a part of the gang. <laughs> we are manifesting our dreams. We are calm. We have learned a lot the past months. And the year is not even over, people. This is only the beginning. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> but forgive. With that, I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Toodles.